Terry Rice again. When I seen the Couture collection, I just could not stop thinking about how I needed to have a purse with it. So I made this little purse. It's probably about six inches long. I cut it, fussy cut the paper. I put some Mod Podge on it and then I just actually glued it on this fleece that I had bought to make fingerless gloves. But here it is on my purse. And here's the back. And it's real antique purse beads I used on the fringe. That took me longer than anything else. I think it took about five hours because the beads were uncooperative with a needle so I had to use a beading needle and then take it off every time I wanted to thread it through the fabric. And of course a lady needs things in her purse. So first I have this pen and pencil holder and my mother-in-law she gave me the, these pen and pencil from her mother and they're actually from the 1920s. One's an Eversharp and one's a pen. And it was in a little case, but the little case was destroyed. So I thought I'd make a little case for it again. And I've used the little bling, the floral paper. It's just beautiful. And I put a little bit more of the fleece in here. It makes them fit nice and snug in there. Perfect place for the pens. And then also, every lady has to have a, pur a mirror in her purse. So I made this little mirror. It's made with chipboard, fussy cutting from the collection. I took glossy accents and put over that. This handle here is actually two charms, one in the front and one in the back that I put on there to look like a handle. I did have to put chipboard between it because of the thickness of the, the chipboard and the mirror. And then I put more of the paper collection here at the top and the bottom. Just lovely. And then I also did a little pill box with more of the fussy cutting and some crystals. And I put some glossy accents on that too. And, and I put paper on the bottom, but that doesn't have the glossy accents on it. And you know how when you go to a dance, you also have to have a dance card. And so, I made a dance card. Oops, wrong way. I took one of the tags from the tags and pockets and I looked up online to see what they looked like. My mom had one a while back and wish I would have just kept that, but anyhow, there was one in there that looked very similar in the shape of this. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna use that there. And so inside, it has the dance program. It has the lists of dances. And then you'd put down the gentleman that you were going to dance with. And of course, I've added Mr. Crowley from Downton Abbey, and Mr. Bingley, and of course, Mr. Darcy, and then a few other of our heroes from those old movies and they all had one of these so I think they could just put it on their wrist when they were dancing and it was really funny because I thought oh I need to get a little tassel and I looked at my desk and there was one it was like the perfect length and everything and I just put vintage photo on it to make it look old so that was a fun little project And here's my last thing here. Right, let me back it out. Okay. 
this is a spread here. It's a scrapbook. And so this is my grands dressed up in their little flapper outfits again. And I've used all the Graphic 45 paper. Now that you kind of see how the spread looks, I'm going to show you each of them individually. I've used just the Graphic 45 paper with the exception of the black on the back and this clock made out of chipboard that I bought off eBay and some of the feathers and some flat pearls here and I've kind of made it look kind of roughed up and old. Got one of the keyholes and I've used the ladies that look like Mary and Edith from Downton Abbey. And I've used the Graphic 45 again because I like the script there. I just thought this turned out just gorgeous. Love it. Love that peacock feathers too. I had to go get these feathers to go with it. Okay, and then I've got this other page. And here I use a little bit of the detailing that I liked and I also used on the um, the little frame I made with the by the sea. I just love that little black line detail. It's got the Hello Gorgeous. One of the pockets and tags and also one of the keys and I like to use that ribbon because it looks so old. And then I've got a little pocket or a little door here that opens. I've used this paper here but the the scaled down because I thought it kind of looked like hinges and then I've got a rhinestone door on it and I can open it up and I can put some journaling here and then I got that picture where the the kids don't want me to show it but I caught them being silly and so there it is. It's the hidden picture and so there are my my projects and I hope you like them and thank you for watching again this is Terry Rice bye